To nobody's surprise, Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson topped the list for CBS Sports Top 25 Players under the age of 25. What was surprising was that Kyler Murray was all the way down at 19 on the list. Shannon, how much higher should Kyler Murray be ranked here? 19? Well, Skip, I, 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 I'm definitely not putting him in front of uh, Mahomes, uh, Lamar Jackson, and Sean Watson. I don't think you. I don't think you're going to argue with me on that. I wouldn't put him in front of Quentin Nelson, Joy Bosa, McCaffrey, or Saquon. But he's top ten. I'm, I'm I'm putting him in front of Miles Garrett, Darius Leonard, Chris Godwin, Minka Fitzpatrick. Yeah, he's going in front of those guys. Uh, if if what the projections are, rookie of the year, quarterback, added D Hop. They should be better. And I, I just don't I, – I, this makes no sense to me. It's hard for me to believe that there are 18 guys up 25 and under that's better than Kyler Murray considering the season that he had. And I said this, Skip, he played better than I thought he did. He handled the pressure. He handled the expectations better than I thought he would. He was able to avoid the big hits. He did a great job of getting in and out of bad situations. But for him to be 19th, the night saying he's the 19th best player that's 25 years of age or under, nah, I, I'm going to disagree with that one, Skip. I'm always going to lean towards guys that can score points. Now, Quentin Nelson, the reason why I put Quentin Nelson in front of him, Skip, I believe Quentin Nelson is the best guard in football. And, and that's, you know, Brooke, I know what Brooks represents in Philly. I know uh, Martin in Dallas. But Quentin Nelson right now, the Notre Dame kid that plays in Indy, I got him better. McCaffrey, Skip, he might just be the best all-around back in football. He was only the third player to go 4,000 to 1,000, rush 4,000, receive 4,000, 100 catches. So for me, Skip, Saquon, ain't very many backs. I think Saquon might be the best back in football, all things being equal. But Kyler Murray should be higher than 19. Top 10, he should not get out of the top 10. There's no question about that for me. Shannon Sharp. As you can yes. see, behind me on the wall are a whole bunch of hats. If Kyler yes. Murray is only the 19th best player under 25 years of age in the National <laughs> Football League, I will eat every hat on the wall behind me. I'll eat all of them. I'll swallow them all. This is the most outrageous projection and ranking I've seen in years. And some of the things that just came out of your mouth are equally offensive. Kyler Murray is the fourth best player on this list. I give you Mahomes at one. I give you Lamar at two. I give you Deshaun at three. Kyler is fourth on this list by virtue of the position he plays, which is the position, quarterback, and by virtue of he was the offensive player of the year last year in the National Football League playing for Rookie. the worst team with arguably the worst offensive line. I predicted to you all year he's going to be the offensive rookie of the year. I called it before the year started, and I lauded and applauded him from the start. With that bad football team that was able to take him number one overall, right out of the box as the Rost rookie at quarterback, he tied the Detroit Lions on opening day. And then from that point, he, he beat Atlanta. He won at the Giants. Again, they're the Giants, but he won. He beat the Browns at home. That's, that's pretty good. And he won at the Seahawks. And even more impressively, he gave the 49ers all they wanted twice. He almost beat them home and away. That's extraordinary because Pro Football Focus says he was the sixth best deep ball thrower in the league last year. I know he's only 5'10-ish, but that little man has a huge arm. That little man threw the 10th most pro football focus grades, catchable passes. He threw more catchable passes last year behind that line than Mahomes did behind his line or Deshaun or Lamar. He threw more catchable passes. He had an extraordinary year. They were 5'10-1, and one, but I still thought... That should catapult him at least to the fourth spot. And I had to stomach this list in which there are five young DBs ranked above him on this list. They're, they're really good, but they're just defensive backs. And, and I look at yeah. Marshawn Lattimore, Marlon Humphrey, 
Jamal Adams, by the way, he's now big contract stalemate. Jamal Adams, I'm just going to quickly aside this one. He, he's always more trouble than he's worth. He always causes the Jets more problems than he causes the opposition. And he's ranked all the way at 12, while Kyler's at 19. And then we get to Derwin James, and we get to Minka Fitzpatrick. They're all really nice players. Very valuable, but not yeah. nearly as valuable as the quarterback that is Kyler Murray. And I'm here to predict to you, I already told you, Kyler is going to take a quantum leap this year. He's going to turn the Cardinals into a wild card team. He's got, obviously, a new security blanket receiver in DeAndre Hopkins. I, again, I loved Isaiah Simmons in the draft. I liked him even a little more than I like Chase Young. So he will give new energy and new striking power to the defense. To the defense. And I love where they're headed. I, I think they're going to be a wild card team because their schedule is not that tough to me. So my point is, I think there's going to come a time when Kyler will compete with the three quarterbacks above him. That's how much I believe in him. But after one year, you should see enough. He should be fourth on this list. And now to your points, Quentin Nelson, you're, you're going to tell, I, I don't care how great he is. I don't care if he's in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> he's not going to be more the valuable arc. than the quarterback, Kyler Murray. Stop it. It's just wrong. He can't, a <laughs> guard. He's not even a tackle. He's a guard. Maybe if he's the left tackle, God. maybe, but probably not. And Christian McCaffrey's a really nice player. I love him. He's a great kid. Loved having him on at the Super Bowl. But the Panthers didn't make the playoffs last year. They gave him a boatload of money. That's why Jamal Adams wants his right. money, because obviously Christian McCaffrey went after him in the draft, and now he's getting his third-year money that Jamal wants. So the point is, Christian didn't change life in Carolina, and I don't think he will. He's, as you said, one of the best all-around backs, but there's no quarter in front of back. Quarterback is but Kyler Murray. Thing, Skip, Shannon, it's, it's not Skip, close. It's not a fair fight. Look at, but you remember, Skip, we talked about, and I'm not saying Christian McCaffrey is Walter Payton, but Walter Payton, there are a lot of years that they didn't make the playoffs, but that didn't devalue him. To, to, to say that he wasn't good, and you look at Christian McCaffrey, what would they have been? It's not like Kyler Murray made the playoffs either, Skip. You talk about Christian McCaffrey, you said he's the quarterback. He touches the ball more, so he should have won more games, had a bigger impact. Now, we don't know what would have happened had Cam stayed healthy. Maybe they would, maybe they wouldn't have. But the fact of the matter is, this kid is the, the best all-around back in football. He's special. Now, I get, I, like I said, some of these DBs, Skip, oh, I, I get that. But, you know, Joey Bosa was Defensive Player of the Year. He's still a premier, and the, the, two, the position that they play is the guy that throws the ball and the guy that can get the guy on the ground that can keep him from throwing it. Mm -hmm. So they put premiums on pass okay. rushers, Skip, and I think that's why Bosa is so high. Now, I'll give you, Quentin Nelson, whoo, that, that's way up there for a guard. But, Skip, he's, he's only been in the league a couple of years, and he's been first-team All-Pro and made the Pro Bowl. So he, he's special, Skip. This guy, this, this is a special talent. Now, time will tell, is he going to be John Hanna? You know, many think John Hanna is the best guard of, well, I think it's Larry Allen, but Larry Allen and John Hanna are the two best guards in football. But this kid, Skip, this kid is me. He can run block, he can pass protect, and he's there every Sunday. You can count on him. Okay, Shannon, I'll give you Joey Bosett five yeah. He is a game changer. Yes. He is a disruptor. I yes. give you that. Mm -hmm. But Kyler should be four ahead of Quentin Nelson. If you want to put Quentin Nelson at six, you got to, <laughs> it's Miles Garrett right now who comes and goes. I don't know. He's got huge ability. I just don't know if he consistently changes games. Whatever. I'm sorry. You have been anti-Kyler from the start, maybe because no, I'm an Oklahoma oh fan and I saw it coming. But you, you've got to give in to this. He is coming, and he's coming of age quickly, and this is going to be Kyler's year. The schedule sets up for it. By the end of the year, this ranking will look laughable. Trust me. Skip, I put him in the top ten. What do you want me to do? You want me to put him in front of Mahomes, Deshaun, or Lamar? Is that where you want me to put him? I put him in the top ten. Just I fourth. brought him up nine spots. No, yeah. I can't do that. Grudgingly. I cannot in good conscience do that. <laughs> <laughs>
begrudgingly he pulled through in the top 10. All right, we're going to work on convincing him about Kyler Skip. Uh, Paul Pierce has been pretty opinionated about LeBron lately, but apparently this feud may have started years ago. We'll give you the details next.